do you pay for rent lights a water bill someone please elaborate for me this is a comment i got and so i thought i would respond in a video girly i will gladly elaborate for you no you don't pay for water you don't pay for light you don't pay for rent that is actually taken out of like your stipend or your pay already that's why au pairs get a stipend and not a salary because all that is considered when you come from um i almost said south africa when you come from your home country to whichever country you're going to au pair in they give you free board in return you look after your kids you do get a weekly stipend i must say that it's not as much as if you were doing this as a job if you were doing this at a job you would have gotten all your money and then you would have paid for the water bill the light bill um rent and the whole thing but host families provide three meals for you breakfast lunch and dinner and they provide a room that's yours it has to have a door it has to have a lock they need to provide hot water for you to shower um obviously water for you to drink that kind of stuff in return you look after your kids and you get a weekly stipend they're not really respond well not really i said really because some families um do this for a pairs but they're not required to buy like your cosmetics and your cleaning stuff whatever they are required to make sure you have cleaning stuff in the house for like your room if you want to clean your room with that whole thing but in terms of your personal hygiene they don't provide it they provide board which is like water rent i'm not rent like a room to stay in a bed a cupboard those things um i'm trying to think what else am i missing out but yeah you don't pay any rent you don't pay any lights any water that is fully covered by them and then a car they provide a car not for your well let me not say not for your personal use a car is not a requirement a host family doesn't have to provide a car for you most host families do because their kids have activities and their kids need you to drive them around but then there's also host families that have um like if they live in new york and dc you don't really need a car because they have a great public system but host families are not forced to uh, uh what's this thing they're not forced to provide a car for you most families do like me i have a car that i can use for my personal needs and i can use the car for my host kids stuff it's just convenient for my host family i'm trying to think what else. oh in terms of gas mo well not most some host families pay all the gas for the car whether it's your private stuff or press i mean or, or work stuff some host families say when it comes to driving the kids around we will pay for it but when it comes to your personal stuff you pay for it um i'm trying to think what else um most host families or almost all host families if you're going out for dinner with them they will cover your bill at the restaurant whatever or if they're buying takeout they will cover your bill if you're at home and you're eating with them whatever but if you go out with your own friends on your own then you have to cover your own bill i think that's common sense I'm trying to think of what else um but yeah you don't i want to make sure i cover this you don't pay no water bill no lights no electricity and no rent that is standard but yeah i hope this clears things up don't forget to subscribe bye